Hello and welcome. This is AI Behavior Essentials Part 5 and in this video, we will be making a coordinated cover system for our bots. This is going to be an advanced system where, we not only find a cover, but, we create a sequence of covers that constitutes an approaching path to the target or a receding path from the target. These behaviors can be used to realize tactical behaviors like bounding over watch or retreating. There have been a lot of small code changes at a lot of places since last time. I will do my best to explain everything, but, I am sure, I will forget to show something and then it's not going to work for you. So, I am going to provide a download link to the project. Download it, play around and report whatever bugs you find, and I will try to fix those. Also, please like the video, it helps with discoverability. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. It keeps me motivated to make more videos like this. This cover system has a few parts. The first part being, the cover blueprint itself. The cover actor, is a custom static mesh actor, that inherits from our C++ cover actor class. Let's take a look at the code for this class. It first of all, has a reference to the character which has interacted with it. This is an array of arrow components. The arrows will be added in blueprints and they will indicate the facing direction of the cover on each side. This bool says if this cover is available. Also, this actor has a box collision, and functions to detect overlaps as seen here. In the CPP file, add the includes shown here. Inside the constructor, I create the box collision, attach it to the root component and bind the functions, to detect overlap begin and overlap end. The overlap begin and end function set the value for the character reference. The cover spots array, is populated at event begin play as shown here. Now, create a cover actor blueprint inheriting from our C++ cover actor class and set it up as shown here. Make sure that all the arrows point towards the walls of the mesh. It is important because we will be doing some math to figure out where the bot should or shouldn't be taking cover. The next part is the EQS query. So, let's also take a look at that. This is a very simple query, that just returns the closest cover actor within a specified radius. You may have to adjust the search radius value based on your level, but a value of 1500 works for me. The distance test scores closer objects higher as the scoring equation is set to inverse linear. Next, open up the project header file and add the ecombat state anum as shown here. Then, in the AI controller, add the combat state, cover actor and shoot from cover blackboard keys, and initialize them in the CPP file, inside the onPossess function, just like all the other blackboard keys we added earlier. After you have built the solution, open up the editor and in the blackboard tab, add the three blackboard keys, we added in the AI controller. The next part is a behavior tree task for selecting cover. This task has a few execution types defined by the eCover type anum. The run mode variable makes it so that we can select the run mode from the editor. Approach, as the name suggests, selects the next cover that constitutes an approaching path to the target. Reposition selects any cover that is at least a specified distance away from the target, and retreat selects the next cover that constitutes a receding path from the target. Like all the other tasks we wrote, this one also needs an execute task function. This is the EQS query and it will be assigned inside the editor. Best cover is the output of this task. Let's move over to the CPP file. As usual, in the constructor, set create node instance to true. Then, in the execute task, check if both the controller and the EQS query are valid, and if so, run the query with run mode all matching, and then bind the cover seeker query finished function, to be called when the query has finished running. Now, if run mode is approach, we check if this cover is not already taken. If it is available, we calculate a directness value for it. This directness value calculation is from the book, Game AI Pro, Chapter 26, Tactical Positioning. Here is the equation that I used. So, basically if the directness value is 1, it will select a completely straight path and thus, only the closest cover, and, as this value decreases, it will pick covers to either side of the target while still reducing the distance between the bot and its target. 
If the run mode is reposition, we just select any cover that is available and at least a specified distance away from the target. If the run mode is retreat, we still calculate directness value, but we only consider cover actors that have a directness value less than 0.5, while for approaching cover, we consider cover actors with directness value greater than 0.5. If a cover satisfying all these conditions was found, we reserve it for this bot. Then, we set this cover as the cover actor on the blackboard. Now, we have our cover actor, but we still need to figure out, on which side of the object the bot should take cover. To do that, we are going to need another behavior tree task. So, basically, from the array of arrow components on the cover actor class, we find the first arrow which is facing the target, and take cover there. Here, I do a little bit of math to test, for each arrow, if the target location lies within a 45 degree arch on either side in front of the arrow. The component location of this arrow is our cover location. Next, in the AI Manager class, the cover fire function was added. This is the agent which is providing cover fire, while the other bot moves to a different cover. The defenders array holds references to all the defenders, and the approacher index is the agent currently moving. Here is the code for the cover fire function. It basically sets the shoot from cover blackboard key, to true, for a bot in the defenders array, that is not equal to the bot that has requested for cover fire. If provide cover fire is false, it sets the shoot from cover blackboard key to false for the agent providing cover. Next, in the run combat loop function, I set the combat state on one of the bots in the defender's array to approaching cover, request cover fire, and then increment the approacher index, so that when this function is called next time by the combat timer, the next bot in the array can approach its target and also request cover fire. And lastly, in the character base class, in the use ammo function, I set the shoot from cover blackboard key to false, and also set cover fire to false. We also need a way to easily set the combat state, so, let's write another task. Add the execute task function and the desired state variable in the header file so that we can set the state inside the editor. In the CPP file at all the includes shown here and in the constructor set create node instance to true. In the execute task function, Check if the controller is valid and if it is, set the combat state to the desired state. That's it. Build the solution and open up the editor. Now, let's move over to the behavior tree tab and build out our behavior tree. If our combat role is defenders, we have different sub-branches corresponding to the various states in the combat state enum as seen here. Let's start with soft cover. If combat state is soft cover, select cover with run mode reposition, set damage to false, and then check if cover was found. If the cover actor key is set, switch combat state to hold cover, otherwise, since no cover was found set cover state to evade. The evade state will be built out in later videos. Next, if combat state is retreating cover, select cover with run mode retreat, and then check if cover was found. If the cover actor key is set, switch combat state to hold cover, otherwise, since no cover was found set cover state to soft cover. Now, if combat state is approaching cover, select cover with run mode approach, and then check if cover was found. If the cover actor key is set, switch combat state to hold cover, otherwise, since no cover was found set cover state to soft cover. If the state is hold cover, then, first get the cover spot. Then check if the distance is greater than 500. If it is, check if damaged. If so, set state to soft cover. Otherwise, check if we are not within 50 units of our target location. If not, check if our distance to the next cover is greater than 600 units, if it is, sprint to it, otherwise, walk to it while shooting at the target. If we are within 50 units of the cover, check if shoot from cover is true. If it is, 
uncrouch and start shooting, otherwise, stop shooting and crouch. Lastly, if our distance to the target is less than 500 units, move away while shooting and then, set combat state to soft cover. That's it. Let's play and test. If you find the video useful, consider subscribing to my channel and also, please like this video so that more people can discover it. Thanks for watching.